One thing that I'm hoping to do uh, in the near term is to bring on a number of lateral partners. Uh, these are uh, people potentially who I already know and have a lot of respect for, and uh, potentially some of you who are out there uh, who I haven't had a chance to meet just yet. So if you are uh, a lawyer who's 10, 15, 20, 30 years into your practice, you're looking for something a little bit different, uh, I hope that you'll uh, uh, please uh, uh, submit, submit a resume, um, you know, come down this process. Uh, if you are a senior lawyer with uh, somebody who, who feels qualified and has uh, the credentials that are set out on the hiring page for the uh, lateral partner position, you will much more quickly than uh, more junior people be uh, having a beer with me or a coffee with me to see uh, what the fit is like. Um, and, you know, what am I looking for? Uh, you know, there's probably a lot of people out there like me who are maybe 15 years into my practice and feeling like I uh, had a pretty good handle on the law practice thing. but Maybe I wasn't in the, in the best uh, opportunity. It wasn't where I saw myself for the next 20 or, or so years uh, as I wrap up my career. Uh, you know, and if you're one of those people, I would encourage you to, uh, to hit me up and let's, let's have a conversation. Let's see whether there's a good fit there. You know, um, there is room for all kinds of different lawyers here. Uh, certainly, if you're a transactional lawyer, uh, you know, and you know what you're doing, then I would love to talk with you. But I, I uh, do think that I am interested in, in hiring also a lateral partner who will be the chair of our dispute resolution department in the long term. Uh, I'm looking for a lawyer's lawyer. I'm looking for a lawyer that really loves uh, how it feels to take a great deposition. I'm looking for uh, a lawyer that knows how to uh, approach motion practice strategically and uh, get to good outcomes. I'm looking... Uh, for a lawyer that, uh, you know, doesn't necessarily relish going to trial because, frankly, I think that if a case goes to trial, then the lawyer has probably failed in their uh, most sacred duty of making the other side quit uh, before uh, you you need to take the case to trial. But, you know, a lawyer's lawyer, someone who's going to chair our dispute resolution department is going to love this stuff. Uh, and you're going to have all the other uh, qualifications that are set out on the hiring uh, uh, page. Uh, you know, I think substantial acumen around electronic discovery is table stakes. Uh, and if you are going to be a partner at this firm, you will, during the hiring process, be asked to demonstrate your substantial knowledge of the professional ethics rules, in particular uh, conflict check issues and your knowledge of the applicable rules. Listen, on construction projects, there are often hundreds of parties. So I'm tracking hundreds and hundreds and thousands of contractors and developers and designers. And if you're going to be a partner in this firm, you're going to need to be able to uh, handle some of those, uh, I wouldn't say administrative tasks, but, you know, senior lawyer tasks. Um, you know, and listen, if you're a lawyer's lawyer and you have that ability and you are looking for uh, somebody that is going to surround you with uh, the administrative support that you need, the processes, the billing, the technology, so that you don't need to deal with the firm operations. That's something that you're going to get because I love that stuff. I'm interested in that. Uh, and I can I can find a lawyer's lawyer and I believe that I can wrap uh, him or her up in, in what they need to just keep practicing law. Um, you know, a partner in the firm is going to be expected to be able to temporary manage, temporarily manage all firm operations and staff on occasion. Uh, I'm hoping to take some long uh, vacations in the next few years. Uh, I think that we're, I would need to see uh, a track record of successfully mentoring and managing young attorneys, um, a demonstrated past commitment to continual learning and growth. And you know, the demonstrated part is what's most important to me. Um, you know, I don't want to hear about how you're, you know, yeah, I, I want to grow. Like, I want to know how you have in your practice so far had an insatiable hunger for learning and growth and trying to attract clients and trying to get smarter and better uh, to grow your practice and to benefit the people who are around you. Uh, of course, um, you know, a demonstrated ability to bill an invoice without uh, substantial write-offs. Uh, you know, there is a certain amount of business development acumen that, that is important to me. Uh, uh, even though uh, I do believe that we have such an abundance of work 
that it isn't necessary for um, people to think about business development in the same way they do in other firms. Certainly, if you're going to be a partner uh, in this law firm, business development is going to be a part of what you do. There are some minimum uh, book of business requirements uh, that we're going to have if you want to come over here as a partner. But that's less about the fact that uh, you're, you need to bring a book to keep busy. And it's more about the fact that if you're 10 years into your practice and you have zero clients in a, you know, zero book, then I think that that says something about how willing you are to get after it. But if you are a great lawyer and if you are attracted to the idea of a lot of freedom, uh, you know, in the summertime, we wear shorts and flip-flops around here. Uh, you know, in the wintertime, when I play a lot of paddle, uh, you'll see me uh, in workout gear, you know, most days. If you're interested in something different, if you're interested in something more laid back, if you're interested in taking advantage of new technologies in ways that, that more substantial firms are not, if you're interested in continuing uh, to push your career forward and, and really take advantage of what is not just a progressive earning opportunity, but really a truly outstanding earning opportunity for the right kind of lateral partner, then please, uh, you know, apply. And, you know, if this sounds exciting to you and you are maybe not at the level um, uh, or you do not meet all of the qualifications that are set out in the job description, uh, it might be the case that you start off, uh, you know, in a, a senior counsel, senior associate role, uh, and you grow into the partnership role. Uh, because I do want to surround myself with outstanding people. And wherever you are on your journey, if you have the right sort of qualities and you're willing to throw yourself into that continual improvement uh, and come along this journey, then even if you don't qualify uh, as a partner uh, right out of the gate, then you could certainly get there in short order. So if uh, this is resonating with you. If you are a frustrated, more senior lawyer, frustrated with your environment, frustrated with your colleagues, frustrated with your compensation, frustrated with the prospects for you to uh, do great things in the future, please, let's have a conversation because this is truly a different opportunity, in my humble opinion, from uh, what you may find out there in just about any other uh, job opportunity.